What's up, On Fleet fans? It's your girl Crystal, aka your On Fleet boss lady. Welcome back to my channel. Check this look out, guys, and let me know what you think in the comments hey below. Guys, so Bye. Doing my eyebrows, and I'm using a pencil, brown, medium brown pencil, to um, fill it in. First, I um, use it to frame my eyebrows. So start at the bottom, going along your eye line, your eyebrow, the bottom of your eyebrow or the line of your eyebrow, wherever your eyebrow stops, that's what I'm talking. So you start filling, you start outlining your eyebrows at the bottom or the top, whichever one is more comfortable for you. So you're just following the natural line of your eyebrow where it stops. You're not going over it and you're not going within it okay guys we are just staying right on top of the line all right guys so when you're done doing that i just slightly fill in my brows so it doesn't look too you know undone or patchy you want to make sure you get everything filled in so it looks nice and even all right this is making sure you control all the um frizz stuff like that making sure your eyebrows are neat and making sure it stays in place so you gently go over that with your brow gel all right so the brow gel that i use is um in brown and also it can also go back in with the spoolie and make sure that you even it out and whichever direction you drag the hair into that's where the hair is gonna set because you're you apply the brow gel all right you guys so next thing i'm gonna do is go in with my la gay la girl pro concealer um and i'm just putting some of that on the back of my hand i'm also I also have a darker shade of the LA Girl, LA Girl, and that's in shade um, Fawn. The shade, the lighter shade is um, Light Ivory. So the Light Ivory is this that I'm going to use under my eyes to um, conceal my eyebrows. The darker shade I will use over my eyebrow. Alright, so the reason for um, using a darker shade over my eyebrow is just so that it blends in better with my foundation when i put that on okay so i grab my concealer brush concealer brush by anastasia beverly hills it's a very nice brush very precise so i go in and i'm outlining the brow like i said you're just following that same line that same outline all right so you want to get as close as possible to the line okay and like i said you're just going as close as possible to the line and then you want to go back over it make sure your line is as sharp as you need it to be i like mine really sharp so i tend to go back and clean up make sure i achieve this straight line Okay guys, so you can also drag down the rest of the product onto your eyelid and that will serve as a eye primer instead of going back with a different eye primer. I just pull down the excess product to my eyelid and I will use that as a primer. And the reason why you need to have a primer or a base before applying your eyeshadow 
is for your eyeshadows to pop when you do this your eyeshadow will pop more and then you will need to use less product instead of using more product that will just make your you know your makeup look cakey you don't want to apply too much so when you apply a primer first or a base over your eye eyelid and your eye area then it will allow your um eyeshadow to go on and to be you know way more brighter which will mean that you wouldn't necessarily need to um keep applying 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 product all right so this way you will use less products all right guys so let's go to the other side and using the darker shade and i'm just following the line like i did for the bottom Okay guys, so now I'm just going in with um, my Real Techniques um, buffing brush and I am just using that to buff out the arch lines from underneath my brows and now I am going in with my primer, um, this is my Tank Me Later primer and I'm using this as a base before I apply my foundation, alright? light pink well this is probably the lightest pink i have right now and it's in my james charles palette so okay guys so i'm using the same real techniques brush to apply the first um color to my eyelids and it's a shade pink and i got this from my james charles okay, so palette okay guys I'm getting the blue from my matte book okay and that's by the crayon case and i'm gonna use this really light blue right here for the outer corner Now we're going in with a brighter pink from the um, crayon case. It's kind of like a rose pink, this right here. And I'm just going to put my own little touch to it in the corner right here. Kind of like give it that rainbow effect. So I'm Okay guys, so now I am using my concealer brush to create a cut crease and the reason that I'm doing this is because I will be applying a brighter pink and I want it to be able to stand out without applying too much. So in order to achieve this, I went in, did a cut crease and then I will be applying the pink shade to my eyelid, alright? I'm just packing this on and when I'm done I will get rid of the excess. Alright y'all, I am putting my liner on. I might do a wing liner. I think I did a wing liner in the end. Not too much of a wing though. But this is me applying my gel um, eyeliner in black.
Okay guys, so now I'm just applying some concealer to my waterline and the reason for this is just to serve as a base for my white um, white eyeliner that, that I will be applying shortly. Okay, but for now I am now applying my glitter primer over the base of my um, cut crease to just give it that nice sharp um, you know glitter line and it's just going to serve as a little accent or just a little touch to the entire look all right do our brrr. so this is anastasia beverly hills um Mascara. Get rid of all that pink stuff in my brows. Okay. So this is my favorite part, you guys. Putting them lashes on. Oh my god. Guys, when you put them lashes on and you see the dramatic difference that it makes. Oh, it's just so breathtaking. I love me some good ass lashes, guys. And these are some nice mink lashes that I got from my collection. I don't know the name of this particular one, but I just know it's bomb, okay? It is bomb. All right, guys, now I'm just using my fingers to press the lashes together so they will blend naturally with my lashes and will look natural. And now I'm, I am applying the white eyeliner to my waterline. Look at that pop. Look at the liner pop, guys. Okay, so now I am... Um, going back into my eyes and I'm adding some more gemstones mmm can't be too much gemstones and in case you're wondering guys I just use some um, big glue to um, use as a form of adhesive to get the gemstones to stick and not go nowhere okay so don't judge me now i am going in with my maybelline superstay foundation and i think this is in the shade 340 i should think all right so i'm putting it on my real techniques beauty blender and I am going in with a patting motion, getting that foundation deep into my skin, into my pore. Okay, getting it into my pores, making sure it's good. Now I'm using a brush to um, go back over that to make sure it's properly blended. Now I am applying my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the shade Fawn. And after which I will be putting a sash or two of the um, shade. Um, what's the shade? I forgot. I forgot the shade, but I just added a lighter shade to, um, you know, get a little bit brighter color. So I'm now blending that out. Mm-hmm. Blend it out, girlfriend. Blend it out, girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now I am going back again with some more LA Girl. Guys, I love me some LA Girl. The concealers are definitely bomb. You do not need eye hand concealers, even though I have some. I rarely use them. Because the LA Girl, they work perfectly. So I'm always using these always so i'm going in with the darker shade for my um contouring and this shade is um shade coco so yeah that's the shade coco now i'm using a brush to blend it out making sure i get rid of uh you know all the art harsh lines excuse me yeah there you go girl blend that out girlfriend mm -hmm. okay i see you 
all right so now i am going in and i am contouring underneath where i just added the um the dark shade mm -hmm. and now i am using a brush to brush away i don't know what the hell i'm brushing away but i'm brushing away something all right so now i am going in with my sasha buttercup setting powder and i am using a sponge to set um my concealer okay all right so get that nose girlfriend all right so while that is setting for like probably 10 minutes i am going to go ahead and line my lips and i'm using a brown pencil to do that i'm not sure i remember the name of this pencil but it's nice and it's very creamy so it goes on very easy now i'm just applying some lip gloss i am picking it from picking it up from the back of my hand because i you know i took some from the container and put it there there you go guys lip sexy as hell mm -hmm. all right so ah uh, no 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 you ain't cute girl you need to do something to that face make it pretty girl make it pretty make it pretty please okay she's making it pretty she's brushing away them you know brushing away the excess powder and now she's going into her blush palette okay come on girlfriend i see you she going into that blush palette and she gonna put some blush on which shade you gonna go in with girlfriend you gonna go for that peachy shade I'm pretty sure she is so she probably taking that peachy pink shade guys and she is just putting that on her cheeks uh-huh yes I see you girl and now she going in with that setting spray and I think that's her NYX setting spray and she's done you guys but look at the hair though the hair is not ready girlfriend you need to do something about her hair okay I'm the shade girl. Mm -hmm. Girl, this is bomb. Girl, you bomb. Are you for real? 